everyone. I am about to upgrade the storage on my PS5, so I figured I would film it in case anyone watching was curious about how it's done. Today, I will be using the Lexar NM800 Pro with heatsink PCIe Gen 4x4 NVMe SSD because it meets all the tech requirements from PlayStation for an internal SSD, and it actually fits in the PS5 size-wise. Yay! And Lexar was kind enough to sponsor this video. Thanks, Lexar. The entire process is super simple to do. Open the PlayStation, install the SSD and heatsink if you have a separate one, close it back up. Heat sinks keep your components running cooler over longer periods of time, so getting a drive with a heat sink is a huge bonus in either a PS5 or otherwise. Huzzah! A few things to note before we get started. Why would you want to do this in the first place? More storage means you can store more games. Two thumbs up. And using an internal SSD, AKA one we install inside the console, is better than using an external SSD because you can both store and play PS5 games off the internal SSD. With the PS5 in particular, using an external SSD, at least at the time of recording this video, will only allow you to store PS5 games, not run them. So you'd need to transfer your PS5 games back to the internal storage to play them each time if you have all the game files stored on an external SSD. Not ideal. External SSDs will allow you to store and run PS4 games on your PS5, but not PS5 games. So even if you currently play older games, it's best to future-proof and go with the internal SSD if you can. Also, PlayStation gives a lot of caveats that they cannot guarantee all M.2 SSDs meeting the recommended specs will work with the console, so before you buy anything, be sure to read reviews stating that people have actually used your particular drive with a PS5 successfully, again, before pulling the trigger and buying it. I know that the Lexar NM800 Pro with heatsink works well in the PS5, so that's why I'm using it. All right. When it comes to opening up the PlayStation, be sure you've done any software updates before powering down and disconnecting from power. Grab a Phillips head screwdriver. Ground yourself to remove any static electricity. Take the stand off your PS5 if needed. Lay the PS5 down so the PlayStation logo is face down and power is facing away from you. Grab the alternate corners, top left and bottom right, and lift and slide the cover to the left. Now to install the memory. Find the expansion slot and use your screwdriver to access it. Be sure not to drop your screw into the console fan. This is very important. Set the screw and top cover to the side. Remove the SSD screw and move the spacer, if needed, to the proper M.2 size you're using. Set that screw to the side. Push the SSD in and gently down and refasten with the screw that you had set aside. Again, today I'm using the NM800 Pro with heatsink. It's got up to 7,450 megabyte per second read speed, and although I'm using the one terabyte capacity, it's available from 512 gigabytes up to two terabytes, depending on how much storage you need. Put the slot cover back on and fasten it with the other screw you had set aside. Now to close up the PS5. Hold the top cover slightly away from the top edge to the right and slide it back into place. You should hear a click. Reconnect the PS5 to the stand if needed. Reconnect any cables. Power on and you will see a formatting screen that will walk you through formatting your M.2 SSD. You're all set. If you have any questions or run into any issues, be sure to leave them in the comments. And if this video helped you, feel free to like, subscribe, share it with a friend, all that YouTube-y stuff. 
Thanks again to Lexar for sponsoring this video and helping me upgrade my PS5 in a big way. And thanks to all of you for watching. See you next time.